Hey, I just wanted to show everyone my Jayco J Flight 26 BH trailer. This is the 2015 model. I've had it now eh, about two months, and we really enjoy going out with it. Mostly, we've been to some some cool places. Haven't been camping in a long time, so this has allowed us to get out there in relative comfort. But we do have a lot of issues with the the trailer itself, and it seems very difficult to get any warranty work done on it. And this is something we've been hearing from other people. Uh, we bought Jayco because we were told it was uh, the number one selling and it's a two-year warranty. But the warranty doesn't really mean anything if you can't get it worked on. Um, let me just kind of walk through some of the issues we've had. So before we even paid for it or bought it, we actually noticed some of these issues. They're written in the sales contract. But uh, some of the panels are clearly misaligned. That may even be water damaged, and it looks like they tried to patch it. Those are, that's patching material. Well, that's, uh, that's gotta be replaced. That's really not, a brand new trailer shouldn't be like that. You know, there's some chips and things we, we noticed. So they really didn't take their time or care when they put it together. Um, this has popped up. This is the laminate between the, the stove and the sink, it looks like they just didn't get the sealant down properly. Well, that's water damaged under there now. And that's lifting up. Seems to me that about a third of all of the screws in the trailer don't seem to go into anything. That is uh, really just not going into anything at all. Um, yeah, just... They just misaligned where the screw went. We cut the hole too big. Yeah, forget it. it. Keeps coming out. A lot of the latches don't seem to close. I had to actually tie the tie a bag around this just to keep it closed. Um, way too much pressure on the spring, first of all. But uh, that latch is all bent up. It never was a lot put in properly. Got just more issues like this isn't gonna last forever. This is the, the you know the bathroom sink, and uh, they just didn't put it on properly. This, I mean, that's plywood I see directly in there. Well, you get a little bit of water on that. It's only a matter of uh, time before that pops up again. Looks like they did a bad job with the sealant back there, and just a lot of issues like this. That again, it seems. We actually had a local dealer say they would not see us for warranty work because we didn't buy it from them. Even though, I guess that's the way it works, but uh, they offered originally to put us on a wait list. I said fine, then they took us off the wait list. So, um, you know, just things to look for. If you're going to buy a Jayco, you know, check the build quality. This is a seam in the, you know, the main area. I mean, that's not acceptable at all this is not acceptable I mean really there's stuff underneath there I mean look at that really really you're gonna accept that as as a quality product I don't think so I mean look at this the you know most of these are are dead straight whatever these are these ceiling uh, cross seams you know, that's, that's just, there's something under there that's twisted, it's bent, I don't know what, what's going on. You know, but, that's, that's just not, it's not good quality, it's just not. So, you know, we paid cash for this, so, it's ours. I just really wish I could get some warranty work done on it, so, we can get out and enjoy what we bought it for and I don't have to think about all the stuff that's broken on it.